I guess for me when I was 12 my rally chopper was absolutely perfect for me but most bikes you know will actually you know suffice anyone depending on what discipline you know they're interested in doing whether it's mountain biking whether it's trails on a hybrid whether it's road riding or even time trialing but the important thing is comfort it has to fit go to a local bike shop you know and actually get the bike fitted so it actually fits you because everybody's different shapes you know every single person's going to have a different shape so it's important to make sure that it fits okay and that it's comfortable I was very privileged, Crystal, to work with an amazing coach when I first started called Neil Smith from Disability Sport Wales. And Neil gave me the encouragement because he saw that quality in me and he knew that I could actually achieve the ultimate goal. And knowing that, I guess, my inspiration has always been Sir Chris Hoy through cycling, that I could achieve exactly what Sir Chris had achieved. I guess the motivation that I need, Kristen, is knowing that there was going to be an outcome and all of those thousands and thousands of miles of training was going to be worth it when I picked up that gold medal. I think in terms of cost, you know, that's going to come down to compromise. You know, are you genuinely looking to maybe ride and race in the local crits, in the local time trials, or are you just maybe interested in going out on a Saturday with your family, you know? So there's no shame in riding a 500 pound bike, for instance, because I guarantee you, you'll get the same enjoyment from a 500 pound bike as what you would if you spent five grand. When you actually set the bike up, as I said earlier on, it's important to have comfort, you know, it really, really is, um, to make sure that you have the weight distribution you know, between your backside and your arms, for instance, but at the same time, a parallel in terms of kit is obviously very important to make sure that you are comfortable and you don't get that chafing that a lot of people don't really enjoy. We, we live on an island and you're always going to encounter traffic, you're always going to encounter cars, lorries, buses, motorbikes, for instance, but, you know, the important thing then is is safety is paramount you know always being aware always looking around you you know when you are cycling and stopping at junctions etc but if you're riding in groups then please please you know focus and concentrate when you're actually cycling